Hey cuties, Peachy here. Welcome back to a new video. And in this video, we have so much exciting Monster High news from the new reboot dolls, from new costumes, and so much more. Stay tuned and let's get First into up, it. First up, let's catch up on some older, well, not even old, but just, you know, some less re relevant Monster High news. Uh, I'm sure everyone has already seen these Monster High uh, posters uh, by the talented Dark Crow Dark on Instagram. They, they look great. And this is all thanks to at v underscore dolls on instagram uh, for these high quality uh, pictures of these uh, posters now obviously these are all black and white and each character has a pop of color their signature color now these are obviously uh kind of teasing what the actual black and white dolls for monster high will look like because remember there were supposed to be some black and white dolls that um uh that might look like the basic wave and this is basically what's gonna happen they're gonna be black and white but they're each gonna have the their respective signature color so like claudine purple laguna blue um frankie like uh dark blue <laughs> um and then dracula are pink so like they're gonna have like streaks of those in their hair and like little accents and they're gonna look so good so that's gonna look so great and because we've already seen like blurry pictures of like black and white dolls in the past and it was always like what's what's this you know but now we know um and these posters are probably gonna be used as like a cover for like diaries or something so and they're gonna look so good i cannot wait to get like good pictures because if these are really just like black and white and they have like those pops of colors oh my god just imagine how cute they're gonna look like now do beware because pictures like these are not real this is fake for instance uh thanks to i uh, thanks to at monster hi love me on instagram um but yeah uh, overall uh they look great the posters looks look great the artwork is stunning 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 and i cannot wait to see how they actually next look like. up thanks to at mh updates 2022 on instagram it seems as though stores are finally setting up new monster high displays as we can see here in a macy's in california they already put up a little monster high logo so that looks that looks like a new one as well because you can tell by the font and it's right next to a rainbow high uh logo as well so that's iconic and here we can even also see a little bit of a layout of how the dolls and everything's gonna be kind of like placed out onto the shelves so you guys it's happening it's it's uh, they're coming monster high is coming but there is already stuff that's already popping up in stores for monster high with these uh new monster high uh costumes uh in spirit which is like a halloween costume shop in america um, we don't have that here but these items look really good here's a short clip thanks to at garrett sander on instagram um, they look awesome. um but yeah this is insane the accessories we even have like a little uh bag um that looks like a diary i mean that's insane that's so cute and uh, we also have some socks uh so we have jewelry that's like specific to uh claudine draculaura and frankie little jewelry sets and then there's like this one right here that's more like basic um and then we also have like makeup sets for each character as well like here with frankie and the earrings um and then here we have uh the same thing but for draculaura even with like um the stickers uh you know the vampire lips and stuff it's just yeah it's great Crazy. here we even can see the wig the wig looks great um and you can even buy some like fake vampire teeth that look so cute in the little box with the skelet um i feel like the highlights definitely the wigs and the costumes uh again there's a, there's only like three main costumes for like characters frankie dracula or claudine and then there's like one costume that's like adult they call it adult monster high alumni sweater vest so it's, it's not like a full costume but it's a really cute little vest um and there's also some more stickers and like little um press on nails and stuff so that's a lot of stuff coming uh i've really i i believe it's already out right now in stores i've seen a couple of videos um yeah these accessories are so then cute. speaking of we can actually see here in person thanks to add monster high flies uh in a spirit store we can see all the accessories here uh in real life with the bag here on the side and at the very top there's even some new illustrations some new artwork for frankie claudine and Dracula laura 
this new artwork we've already seen a little bit blurry uh, in that old picture the group shot that was very blurry was very, not very good you could barely see a thing but you can obviously tell there's a very strong resemblance for the art, art style which is definitely the case here so i guess this is like kind of like the art style they're going to be using now for this new reboot um i feel like it's a cute art style it's very casual very kind of doodly very cartoony not very like glam or whatever not very like ghoulish creepy or emo it's it's just very kind of like lively very fun um i do like it but i do feel like with the edit here from aquaguna i feel like that looks way better so i feel like if they had done that it would have looked way better um but either way it's still a cute little piece of artwork right i like it it's it's it's, it's supposed to be very child friendly obviously and you know where else we got to see new artwork yeah on the new box for the coffin bean playset where we got to see full looks for all the new uh gen 3 uh reboot dolls for monster high that's insane so first step with the artwork um they are in different poses we can see cleo laguna frankie dracula and claudine here uh the five main ghouls uh gulia um oh, we'll talk about gulia torlai and dusa in a second but like um these are obviously the main ghouls and they all look so cute they are in their signature outfits um and like i mentioned before the art style is just very casual it's very cartoony um i just wish it was a little more polished not even polished just like a little more i guess like like but i don't know <laughs> cleaner I just, I just feel like someone very like talented yes but like very like young drew this you know what i mean it just gives me that young feeling and maybe that's just what they're going for so who knows let's take a look at a better look at all of the new dolls here on the packaging now um uh, thanks to rebel queen here by the way for this picture um and then thanks to at toy boy universe for this picture here of the box um so actually by the way the original uh, source is from facebook by the way if you were wondering uh jay jaylene epps or something um i actually found the original post and that's where i'm uh using the pictures now from facebook so yeah um so here we have the back of the box a little different setup here and here we actually see a comparison between the old coffin bean playset and a new one uh here's actually what it comes with like all the things it comes with inside the box it looks very scattered but you know i guess what can you expect um here's the couch uh here are the legs of the couch i'm not sure if this is like a new mold or reused um here's the table it's trans translucent green slime looking uh again new old not sure here's a cabinet kind of like little uh set um and here's a counter almost like giving me kiosk vibes has a little bit of an awning and here's another table a little bit taller orange translucent this time and here are two chairs chairs um with some blue uh kind of like fish theme going on and here's just a lot of food food accessories all the way we also have two pets included in this set which is surprising a cat and a bird and here's kind of like a little bit of a play set like a setup of how you can kind of like uh, play with it uh, so that's really cute the actual place that uh, looks very versatile which is always great and it does seem to come with like a ton of food which is now always good. here we have close-ups of all the dolls on the packaging they're all posed differently laguna is sitting uh frankie claudine are standing and here dracula is sitting on the couch very elegantly and cleo is in the background um and here's actually dracula kind of like attending the kiosk she's holding a tray of like little bugs looks super cute um and here's frankie just kind of like at the side uh with the cabinet little uh place like little uh holder um and here's cleo sitting on the couch see what i mean it's just they pose so well like these are definitely like very well posed dolls going over each character now we have frankie here first she has a really cute outfit on she has like a uh i do hope these are separate pieces by the way she seems to have like kind of like a white uh, button-up shirt and then over that she has a kind of like vest uh and then uh she has a kind of like uh ple pleated that's so yeah pleated uh checkered or like pleated it has a pattern on the skirt and it's really cute it's very flowy um has the overall blue color with black and pink um and i also love her hair clips uh the accessories the face-ups 
are gorgeous. Um, I'll talk more about the comparisons between the earlier uh, Monster High uh, reboot dolls in a second, but um, I feel like the face ups are just gorgeous for all of the girls here. Uh, Frankie um, is looking straight ahead, uh, her makeup's gorgeous. I do like that the hair. It's just like pulled back, has a little bit of like a twist or braids. Uh, it's not like uh, shaved or, or like buzz cut on one side. I like that she does have like a like hair ev all around, but it's just a little bit pulled back. I, I feel like it just looks way better. Um, and then of course the iconic part for her is the prosthetic leg um, that we 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 saw little teases here and there and it's yeah it's on the actual doll it looks great we can even we can even see some scribbles in black uh, which is so cute um, it's it's a cute mold it looks so awesome I'm just so happy that they went through with this um, prosthetic leg because it looks so great on Frankie um, and her shoes are so cute they're just big platform platform sneakers but they look really good way you guys i just realized that i used the wrong pronouns for frankie i'm so sorry it just slipped out literally i wasn't even aware i wasn't even thinking about it i just completely forgot that um you know frankie's non-binary now which is great it's just my brain kind of doesn't click sometimes so i'm very sorry <laughs> moving on to of course this reboot's most controversial character which is like yuna who has been changed the most um, i i think uh she does have the pink skin tone uh, luckily for us the pink skin tone isn't like distracting distractingly pink it's more like corally pink which i do like um her hair is in a ponytail high pony she has a side part uh middle part um for like uh the not bangs but like she has a middle part at the front uh, some hair clips um her hoodie uh with the scales on the hoodie part and then everything else is in like a pink um obviously giving me very much uh, generation two vibes with the overall look but she's wearing some shorts underneath she has some uh some fishnets which we cannot see but we know from the artwork she's supposed to be wearing fishnets under the shorts um and i feel like the most interesting part for laguna uh, besides obviously that she has a completely completely new look here is that she has the like the bottom like starting at the um the calves or whatever um her legs go from like a light pink to like a translucent blue um and that's kind of weird <laughs> like i was not expecting that now obviously she is supposed to be a mixture between like a nymph and like a sea uh, creature or whatever um so i guess you know they're taking more inspiration up on like the nymph aspect like more mermaid vibes but i'm still not sure why like the bottom half of her legs would be translucent blue um i mean it looks awesome and she does have she also does have like the fins at the sides um and also some printed on scales which is great um so i do feel like it it just gives me spectra vondergeist vibes obviously right because it's like translucent um and her shoes are also very cute uh, and yeah overall laguna surprisingly i feel like she's probably one of my faves just because she looks so captivating her color palette is just very like mesmerizing even though you know it doesn't really i mean it's just it's a new look for laguna um and i feel like you know overall she's she's slaying like low-key very very next hard. up we do have claudine i feel like she's changed for like completely like for the better completely she has a glow up she is no longer wearing her uh, reading glasses unfortunately which i guess does suck a little bit because you know a lot of people do have glasses on and like i do feel like claudine having glasses on would have been really cool cool representation but i mean it's just she looks just better move at them because you can see her eyes um she also has added on painted baby hairs now her hair looks way more um more like um in sync like it just looks much more less chaotic like it just it makes more sense here the hairstyle very more very <laughs> it's very much more cohesive basically is what i'm trying to say <laughs> um i just love it it's very poofy it's it's not too curly obviously these are like very well uh shot uh, 
pictures so obviously the hair looks great and flawless but i do feel like the texture is very good here uh, for hopefully the real life doll as well uh, has some mixed in purple and then she is wearing these overalls with a um under a uh, shirt a shirt underneath that's like kind of like long sleeved um it's really cute i love the gold accessories and she's wearing some simple boots so yeah overall claudine's very cute she does have still the painted nose on and uh, you can actually see she has like the um, the teeth, so that's cool. Um, and she has the side glands. Uh, Claudine and Jackie Laura are the only two who have side glances in this line. And speaking Lastly, of here for the new reveals, we have Jackie Laura, obviously the witchcraft, the the witch witch vampire. Um, yeah, so she looks stunning. Uh, she's the other one who has the side glance, um, and she's looking in the opposite direction to. Uh, Claudine so they're looking at each other basically which is so cute um, she has a half pink half black hair a head headband with a bat um, her outfit's very cute it's like a dress with a little bit of a I guess shorts underneath I don't know um, I can't really tell her full outfit but it does look very similar to the artwork it's very pink uh, very flowy. I love the sleeves. I do love that they kept the kind of like bat uh, collar or like tie or whatever. Um, I feel like the um, the print, the earrings, it just it just looks so cute. Like it all looks so cute on Dracula. She definitely slayed um, in her face ups. Once again, so pretty. The face up is just so pretty. Um, now I do wonder. Uh, is she gonna come wearing a huge hat because I don't think she's wearing a hat here. It doesn't look like it So who knows also? Look at her face and uh, you might see a little black dot on her cheek Which is supposed to look like a heart, you know, because she has a heart on her cheek um, But here it's so small. So that's a little bit weird, but overall she's still very cute um, And I do feel like her shoes are very boring looking but um overall like still very cute i do like that she has socks you know that's also we cool. also have cleo but she's not really a big reveal because we've already seen her full look in a previous video check that video out if you haven't already for my full in-depth breakdown on my thoughts on her but overall she is still looking very much elegant here and i do believe this is a different outfit to the outfit that we did see in that past video but overall it is a similar outfit and actually i do feel like this is the same outfit i'm not sure i don't remember but it does feel like the same outfit like the one we saw in, in the um earlier leak earlier leak of her um but i don't again i'm so confused right now i honestly do not know if they if they are different outfits they look really similar and if they are not and they're the same outfit then i'm just going crazy here <laughs> but basically yeah she she looks great too like honestly all of them look superb um cre I'm, it's crazy that they look so thanks good thanks to Ayrton schmidt here on instagram we have a full collage of all the new gen gentry uh monster high dogs we know so far obviously deuce is here as well because we've seen his leak uh already um now we are missing gulia and torlai for gulia we don't even know what her design is gonna look like but they are confirmed to come to be coming out as well but they're just gonna be um store exclusives which do which does suck because obviously you know a lot of people do not like walmart exclusives or target exclusives or amazon whatever um so it sucks um also here's actually a better look at uh, information on like the different codes for different stores also for the set it's the barcode here thanks to um all the information here thanks to edma madin cutting and line official the actual person who ordered it that coffin being placed it actually ordered it from amazon Canada so it's not available to anyone else just uh, you know Canadians I guess and then uh, for the US it's already on Walmart but it's just not um, it's just listed but it's not you, you can't actually buy it yet so it's showing up it's showing up and uh, on Toy Wiz apparently they already have the um, listings for all of the uh, new Monster High dolls which apparently you can even you can even already buy like you can pre-order them and they'll ship out like in September or something um, and I've seen some people do it already, so um, awesome, you know, I'm happy for you guys. Um, I don't know if they ship internationally, and also, it's just, I mean, I just, you don't really know what you're getting. They might be, they might not even be, like, the official core release of the characters. These might just be, like, 
I don't know, like secondary releases. So who knows what these dolls actually might look like. Now all we need to see leaked is Gulia, Toralai, and of course the Deuce and Frankie two pack that's called Coffee Break Dolls. Here we have a better look at all the new designs for the reboot from the artwork for the boxes to the new official dolls to the cgi models for the animated uh show they it just it looks very like child friendly obviously but it's also like very vibrant and i still feel like it's very monster high so i'm very glad that they also did tweak the dolls a little bit especially in the faces for claudine like removing the glasses did help a lot and the baby hairs and making the eyes like more like um narrow i guess overall and not just like as big i feel like that helped a lot as well because if you compare them here next to the other uh the first leaked uh reboot dolls the heads are just way bigger the eyes are huge and here it's more like in proportion to the um original heads which oh, is oh by great. the way thanks to add jess royale monster on instagram these are uh, compilations like uh, edits by them so here we have a side by side between the g1 and g3 uh for the five ghouls and here we have a comparison between all of the reboots uh all well including the second reboot um who do you which one do you prefer i mean obviously like if we could all choose the original is the original but like which one do you think is like how do we rank these reboots like these uh, these different these different versions um because they do look very different but they still look very compatible like it's very weird like the latest reboot is trying to mash uh, the G1 and G2 and get the best out of both worlds or something. So I definitely feel like, you know, it just, it looks way different. It looks so different compared, especially if you put them next side to side with the other two versions. It's just insane. Wow. Okay. Overall, I would say I rank, uh, shockingly, I don't, I actually don't know. I guess I would rank Frankie first, then... Ooh, Laguna or Dracula? It's a close tie. And then Claudine and then Cleo. Shockingly. It's, yeah, I like very shocking because like Laguna is like at my top and Cleo's like at my bottom. So yeah, that's just my ranking kind of like in my head. <laughs> so overall, I mean, they, they all look so great and I'm definitely going to get all of these girls. Like they just look stunning. I cannot the i can't i can't believe that they're these are real and i do hope that these are actually the way they're gonna look like you know the final the final uh version i do hope these are actually the way they're gonna look like you know so because they look really good <laughs> so i'm very excited but yeah that was the video i hope y'all enjoyed be sure to give me a big thumbs up if you did leave me any thoughts or questions you may have down below let me know what you thought of these latest revelations for the monster high reboot who's your favorite uh doll out of these uh new ones how would you rank them and what do you think of like all the versions so far <laughs> let me know down below and as always don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss out when i post more monster high doll news doll reviews monster high movie news a lot of tea breakdowns and a bunch more content coming your way daily and keeping you up to date with all the doll tea you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy kisses